Hey folks, this month I released another massive new open source project for Swift UI developers. This one's called Vortex. It's a high performance particle effect system to create wonderful special effects. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use this thing in your own projects. But first, let's see what it actually looks like. What are the results you get from using Vortex? And to show you that, I'll open the sandbox app that ships with the repository. And this thing is basically walks you through all the presets really quickly so you can see what it does. Of course, you can then build your own presets, but these are good starting points. Let's walk through them now. First, we have confetti. Where we tap on the screen, we get on-demand particle bursting in various colors wherever you tapped. Then we have fire. A nice simple particle effect here for fire, but when you press on the screen with your finger or mouse cursor, it will attract the fire to where you're pressing, which looks really, really nice, like you're channeling fire as you go. Then we have fireflies. This has repulsion rather than attraction, meaning that as I drag my mouse through and click, it will actually move the fireflies away from where I'm pressing, as if they are trying to avoid where I am on the screen. Then we have fireworks. This is a complex multi-stage effect where each firework kind of shoots upwards, releasing sparks behind it as it goes. At the end of its life, it explodes into a colorful ball in a random color, as you can see. Then we have magic, a nice simple uh, halo effect with stars. We've got uh, rain falling down. We've got smoke. We've got snow falling. Uh, we've got a spark effect here that's showing uh, idling between bursts. And we have splash, which actually mimics Apple's weather app where the rain falls, but as you can see, kind of bounces at the bottom as well. These are all presets built into Vortex. Now, the code itself, just like my previous project, uh, Inferno for making metal shaders, is copiously documented, okay? This stuff is really, really good at time documentation here. So it walks you through how to install it, and then using a handful of presets like his rain, fireworks, and fire. By the way, that's all the code to make the fireworks effect you saw. You know, the whole thing flying up, exploding with sparks and so forth. That's all it takes. Um, there's example of how to create your own presets right now here. This one makes a custom position, speed, shape, angle range, and so forth. Uh, and then it walks you through doing programmatic control. You saw we had bursting, for example, we tap on the screen to release uh, the uh, confetti. That's how it's done with a vortex view reader. And here's attraction and repulsion. Again, very similar. How to do the more advanced secondary systems where you know one particle makes another particle. Uh, then it walks you through how to make custom systems from scratch. It just literally documents every parameter you can pass in and what they do, all here, uh, with lots of example code. Then all the presets are uh, documented here in full, how to use them all. Again, just grab this code and run with it to do magic or rain or smoke and similar. Uh, it's all here. It's just documented to heck right now, which is great to help you get started. And of course, there are stacks of comments in the code as well to really explain line by line what all the code does. Let's give it a try in a sample project real fast so you can see for yourself what it does. Let's try out, ooh, what should we do? Let's try confetti. There we go, I'm gonna grab the confetti code from here. I'm gonna open up Xcode and then make a new project. I'll choose iOS, I'll choose Vortex Test for the name and press next and create. Now, first things first, you wanna bring in the Vortex repository and so, I'm gonna basically just copy this URL from GitHub, uh, to straw slash vortex. Then go to add package dependencies in, in Xcode and simply paste that URL in. There we go, press add package. Yeah, that looks good to me, add package. And now I will do uh, import vortex, or vortex with an R like that, and copy and paste my confetti code in. There we go, boom. It's basically, is it the whole thing? Yeah, no, it's just the code, the body code. There we go. Grab that thing there. In it goes. Let's uh, clip some space. That's my code. Uh, do I have an iPhone running? I do. It's a Pro Max. Let's choose Pro Max from here to save me launching my simulator uh, now. would be great. Run it back. And then hopefully when it runs, we should be able to see our confetti. So as you can see, there's a burst button here. It issues a uh, confetti burst from the center each time. Like that, boom. But... This is completely customizable. You know, there's no magic here. This thing is literally just a, a bunch of code I wrote to do a preset. That's my particle system preset. Just write that code yourself, of course you can. Or just tweak what I have. You know, it looks for square and circle tags. Things to show on the screen. This is square and this is circle. 
but can be whatever you want to be, right? I could have said here, actually, uh, let's say we have the text of uh, boom, <laughs> right? With a uh, white style, so it gets colored correctly. And then a large title size. And then the other one we're gonna say, it's very similar, but we'll do bang for the text. Just custom free forms with UI text. I press Command R, let's try it out. I press Burst, and there we go. So you can see it spins beautifully in 3D space as they fall, creating a lovely, lovely confetti effect. It's that easy, folks, to get started and experiment stuff. So check it out. It's called Vortex. I'll put the URL on the screen below. You can see it right now as well. Uh, it's completely open source. Works on all Apple platforms that support it, including watchOS and VisionOS. Uh, and it just makes all your Swift UI apps just be a little bit more interesting, a little bit of delight now and then, the particles, just a bit of beauty and surprise for the users. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed.